Hi, I'm Holly. I'm Sharice. And thanks for tuning in to Ask Mom. Today we're doing a video that was requested actually by a woman who has started a blog called youareloved.org. And she started it because her daughter um, died from the complications of toxic shock syndrome. Because I know there are some girls that are not allowed to use tampons in their home because their moms have a fear of toxic shock also. So this could maybe either help to alleviate the fear of toxic shock or just show you whatever um, a different products are to use other than tampons. Approximately 2,000 people a year die of toxic shock syndrome and out of those 2,000 people, half the known cause is from women that are using mm -hmm. tampons and that's out of millions of women. So it's a right. small percentage mm -hmm. but I think if you use any kind of a product that has a risk to it, you should know what the risks are. We don't know why some girls' bodies develop this and some girls' bodies don't, but some girls just are more susceptible to developing this staph bacterial infection with the extra absorbency uh, product that's within tampons that are not 100% cotton. Now, of course, I also question, well, none of them have been linked, none, no TSS cases have been linked to cotton tampons, but that could just be because not that many people use organic cotton, tamp cotton tampons. So I think in general, um, part of this is an issue of changing your tampon regularly. Right. Using a size that's appropriate for your flow. So I know sometimes it feels more convenient to use a super and maybe I want to change my tampon all day at school having because proper, you don't want to have to. Having use a, proper hygiene when you change your tampon. Yes. And there are, some of the reports that I read though were girls that were very faithful about changing tampons every four to six hours, they were very careful about that. But like if your body has a tendency to create this bacterial environment that can become very toxic mm -hmm. for your body, it's not really gonna matter. So so should you change your tampon regularly, will that protect you? Yes, if you're not someone who's super prone to building up this bacteria, then yes, absolutely, you need to change your tampon regularly. Mm -hmm. um, and because that's one of those things you're just not gonna know unless it affects you, right? Right. Until you have a problem. Right. Um, if you find that you're getting sick every time when you hit your cycle, that you get pretty strong flu kind of symptoms, including a fever. So maybe it's sore throat, aching muscles, high temperature, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, you get a feeling like your blood pressure is really dropping, like you get really lightheaded, it's hard for you to get up and walk around. You know, like those confusion. are... Confusion. Confusion, yeah. Those are symptoms that's telling your body there's something going on with you. And if you notice you have that once or twice, you know, one month, and then the next month you have it again when you're on your period, um, the first thing you need to do is get that tampon out right away and see if any of the symptoms subside at all. If you notice that your symptoms are steadily getting worse, Call your doctor right away and tell them, you know, I'm using tampons. I, within a couple of hours, I'm on my period. I get this high fever. I get all these symptoms. I want to, I want to be tested for toxic shock. Right. And you can go right in and just be tested for it. The most important thing is that you just get medical attention right away if you even suspect it. I mean, the worst case scenario is you go in and they go, hey, guess what? You're on your period and you have the flu. You're fine. <laughs> That's the worst yeah. thing that can happen. And the best thing that can happen is they go, oh my gosh, thank goodness you came in because we need to you know, check treat, you again. Yeah, and treat this. Right. Yeah. If you have more questions or you want to understand more about toxic shock syndrome, you can read the pamphlet that comes in with your tampons. Right. You can go to this um, youareloved.org and um, the owner of the blog talks regularly with everybody who writes in. Now, the one thing I want to caution you against is everyone who writes into there has had some sort of toxic shock um, experience. And so it can be kind of scary to go there and read all their stories um, and think, oh my gosh, like this is going to happen to me for sure. Sometimes knowledge helps girls and sometimes knowledge makes girls more afraid. So if you're someone who it makes you more afraid, then just understand what we're saying here and keep it in the back of your mind. Um, but don't probably go to the website. <laughs> if you're someone who understanding more and more and really getting all your questions answered will alleviate the fear of using them, then by all means, go there, talk, figure it out, Google search it, all of that. Now there are other options. So have I used any of the other options? No, I haven't. Well, yes, you have. Wait a second. You've, you've used just pads before without using tampons. Right. That's you could, your one option, right? Don't use tampons at all. Just use your pads. 
Right. And pads are very absorbent these days, and they're much, much thinner than when we were younger. So say you have a mom who's terrified of toxic shock, or say that you are just thinking, I want to try something else. There are other things you can try, and one of them is um, the Lunette or the Diva Cup. I know we've had some jokes about these cups. Yes, and it's made people very angry at YouTube. <laughs> Just because it's an alternative thing and it's an easy target, it doesn't mean it's not good and it doesn't work. No. Does so, it mean you can joke about it? Yes, it does. Why not? Should you get mad about it? No. No. Should you joke about tampons? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not offended if you joke about tampons. No. I'm still going to use them. I want to just know if it's funny. Diva cups or the lunette are silicone uh, cups, basically. And they have special folds that you do. You fold it a couple of times. You put it up with your hands like a tampon like you would say an OB tampon, you're sort of pushing an OB tampon, this one you're sort of inserting it. You let go, opens up. Like wide. And the, not like, like wide. Like you can't even close your a legs wide. Will you stop? That's how wide it is, it's like a tent. No Bam. it's not. You can feel it. Will you stop it? So anyway, you put it up inside you and then it basically like a cup catches all your flow. Now, let me just say, the things that I've read about it, it would be great for someone who has an extremely heavy flow because you can keep that safely inside of you for nine to 10 hours. And even mm -hmm. if you have a heavy flow, it's very unlikely it would fill that cup up because even heavy flows, honestly, um, sometimes tampons can't handle like how fast the blood comes and absorbs. Cause I've had the experience where you right. take a tampon out and it's not even that full, but you're already leaking. Right. Um, so this cup is kind of a cool solution because it's gonna catch it. And then you basically break the suction. You put your fingers up, you squeeze it, it breaks the suction, and then you just gently pull it out. You dump it into the toilet, you rinse it, you can reuse it. There's the other ones too that it's they have a lot a little, of handling. They things, have a little but... cork in it. <laughs> and so once you've filled it up, you just you pull there's a string and you pull it and the cork comes out and then it just drips into the toilet. Will I think stop? there's ones like that. Will you stop? It's called the cork. So I know it's a difficult idea to think about handling your body that much and blood could get on your hands. You know, honestly, we all have to figure out how to manage our periods. And right. if that's a way that your mom is more comfortable because there's been no cases linked of toxic shock to that, then maybe that's a way that you can actually not have to use a pad for times when it would be difficult to use a pad, like for athletics and stuff like that. And it's that. actually a very green way to do it because you're recycling. And they last eight to 10 years. And it's, but it's not, I mean, it's not green, it's red, clearly, but it's right. like a green product. So it's like really Christmas colors because it's green and red. That's a good point. So you'd feel happy like every day <laughs> using it because it's like Christmas every day of your period. It's a gift. That's a good way to put it. It is a great way to put it. They cost yeah. 25 to $40. So it just depends on what brand you get and what kind you get. It's, it's really cheap if it's reusable. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so anyway, I may just try one, let you know what I think. I'll let you do that. I'll, I'll let you do that. I can interview you. So thanks for tuning in today. I hope this information didn't put any fear into you, but just gave you some things to think about. I'm Holly. I'm Sharice. And thanks for tuning in to Ask Mom.